Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kerry Arthur and you asked for this, for God's sake. This is Bottle, again, we've already played it all the way through, because it's a walking simulator that's 20 minutes long, but there's a walk noir with an alternative ending. I tried to say alternate instead of alternative. <sighs> and it looks like it's just the game again, but with goth vision, so we're going to play it because I'm stupid and I apparently have just no idea how to not do things that are silly. I have my trusty can of monster energy. Um, I'm aware that this game has no save feature and takes a little while to finish. If you could let me play it now, that would be great. There we go. Get a bit of the nice piano music in again. At least this time we won't have to faff about seeing if we can get that deer to attack us because uh, we'll just run straight past it. <laughs> it's still funny though. Why the fuck? Oh, Jesus. Man, you know it would be cool? If, if people could play the game again, but in black and white, that would be awesome. I still love that. Some inspiration from Drizzlepath Genie's story. Okay, thanks for promoting your other game. Excellent, yep, brilliant. Can we go out without putting the coat on? Do we freeze to death? It may be a little chilly outside. Oh shit, there's the narrator! Did you hear that? Fuck! We never heard that the first time. Because I put the coat on by accident whilst I was trying to... Because I thought it was being... You could look at Drizzlepath Genie. I put the coat on, but there's actually a guy. It may be a little chilly outside. <laughs> it may be a little chilly outside. It may be a little chilly outside. It may be a little chilly outside. It may be a little chilly. I'm trying to get my money's worth from the narrator because we didn't hear a fucking word from him in the last playthrough. The last playthrough, Jesus Christ. That's a hat and coat. I love the way he caught. I'm just going to wiggle the axe. There we go. I'm going to run over here and drown myself. Oh. Oh dear. Oh well, it was worth a go. Still, let's enjoy it. Let's enjoy the grainy mess. I swear to God, observe the direction of gazelle. Yes. Observe the direction of gazelle. I mean, later on, when they say observe the direction, follow the stag, it says follow the stag. The. That all important word, the. But for this one, it's just follow the direction of gazelle. Also, a lot of stuff around here is is shiny f for no reason, and it makes it look like there's stuff when there isn't stuff. Uh, I seem to have taken a mild shortcut there. I was just seeing if there was any Dyson Hoovers because we didn't see any last time. Just the path genie was full of white goods, and we I, I didn't see a single bit of. Uh, of Curry's esque merchandise. Curry's is a is a is a shop in England where you can buy fridges and freezers and cookers and shit. To be honest, that applies to pretty much any supermarket now. I remember, I remember back in the day, the olden days. You enter one shop for food, you enter a different shop for clothes, and a different shop again if you wanted to buy a TV. It was three different shops for those three different things. Now, you just go to the supermarket and you can buy all of it. Convenient? Yes. That's that's about it. It's not actually worse. <laughs> if anything, it's just made things easier because you have to go to one place, but still. There was less chance of Impulse buying a TV back in the olden days, though, because you had to actually go to a place that sold them. Now you go into Tesco and it's like, oh, 100 quid off this massive TV. But then uh, I can't buy it because I have no money. Like, literally, I, I don't have any money. So in a way, actually, it's, it really makes no difference. It only makes a difference if you've got a full wallet and poor uh, self-control. And I've only got poor self-control. <laughs> it sort of means the lack of uh, funds in the wallet. Does, the, um, does that side of things for me? I can't remember when we saw the gazelle last time. It wasn't a gazelle though, it was clearly a deer. 
We didn't explore this last time, so let's let's get up the let's go up the Noir Rock. Uh, you, you cannot get up the Noir Rock. No. Nope. Game says no. Game says you want to rock climb, but this isn't a rock climbing game. This is a walking game. Oh dear lord. I will say, it, uh, it is infinitely more boring in black and white. Much though I complained about the, uh, the palette, where it was simply just snow. There's the gazelle. There's not a gazelle. It's clearly a fucking deer. Look at it. Look at it. It's a deer. It's a female. It's a doe. A deer. A female deer. It's not a fucking gazelle, is it? Can't, I can't ride this one. Fucking gazelle. It's not a gazelle. Jesus Christ. Whoa! Stand on his head. Her head, sorry. Hey! Nice! Ready to join the set? Ah, look, he's moving me! Look! Look! <laughs> I'm not touching the mouse. Look, 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 I'm not touching the mouse. Hey! <laughs> oh, fantastic. Ah, well, that was worth it. That was worth it by itself, wasn't it? Bit of a. Uh... Deer head moving action. I love, I love this. I, I absolutely love the fact that they put that fucking stupid goth vision filter in, in, uh, in Drizzle Path Genie, and it was like, you know what? I don't think enough people will have used the goth vision filter. So, what I'll do is I'll make it so that there's an entire mode in the new game where you can just play with the goth vision filter on, and we'll call it Noir. Mmm, yes. Oh, fuck, it's this, isn't it? She's going to drivel at us, which is going to be irritating whilst we knock the rock off. Get our rocks off. Come on, get that rock off. Oh! Oh, it's a bush. I thought we had a hand for a minute there. I got excited. Shut up. Yeah, destinations grow higher and then you think you grow old, but never enough to reach the monument. Your fault was to forsake the invisible walls of winter. Yes. Yep, second time through still doesn't make any fucking sense. You'll note. Okay, we're, we're using the speed run technique because I'm still sure this is quicker. Okay, hang on. Let's. From this tree, this tree to that tree. This tree to that tree. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven seconds walking normally. Let me just get the Let me just get the angle right. Okay, so from this tree. One Ah bollocks. This tree here. This tree, right here. One, two, three, four, five. That is like two seconds quicker. Or two counts quicker. That was the least scientific test that a person has ever done. The only way that could have been less scientific is if you'd read it in the Daily Mail. That's the only way that could have been any worse. But you know what? I'm pretty convinced that this is quicker, so... Uh, it might be harder to look at, but I'm all about speedrunning. I speedrun this game now. Look for me on, uh, what is it, A AD ADGQ? Is it AD... Awesome? No, A AGDQ. Awesome. Is it Awesome Games Done Quick? I think it is. And isn't there some games done quick or something? Either way, I'll be on those. Uh, Speedrunning. Bottle. <laughs> and bloody... <laughs> Drizzle Bath Genie. Ugh. Oh. I was playing War for the for the Overworld earlier, and I finally beat the second to last level. Second to the the last level has been a, an absolute cakewalk. It's been so fucking easy. It's just untrue. Not a problem at all. The only issue is occasionally the, um, <laughs> when the energy shield came back up. You see, this is not spoiler territory because you won't know what I'm talking about until you actually play it. Uh, it lagged the fuck out, like it went mental. The, the frame rate collapsed, which was a bit disappointing. But then it fixed itself, and it's been perfect ever since. And I didn't do anything to fix it, it just literally fixed itself. It was like, 
Nah, that's not a problem anymore. Is that a thing up there? It sort of looks like it could be, but I don't think it is. I mean, I'm guessing there's going to be some sort of invisible wall around here anyway. Oh no, there wasn't. That's interesting. Wait, can we bypass the hill vagina? You suck. Ah, you... That's just garbage. Garbage nonsense. Uh, it's the shadow of birds. Where is that monument anyway? I'm sure there's a monument. Did we see one last time? I'm sure you... Maybe I imagined it. It's entirely possible. Anyway, the music stopped now. All alone with our thoughts. Just the sound of our... Oh no, wait. There is no sound of footsteps. Okay, let's get... Good grief. This place is really crappy. In uh, in black and white, it's just extra dull. But that describes this mode just for the game in general. Extra dull. It's the extra dull variety. This has got positive reviews, right? I won't bother touching the mushroom because I've already done that. And this is this is actually something that staggers me because I went back and I looked at the other games. They all seem to be positively reviewed on Steam. I think. I'm pretty sure at least two of them were anyway. Maybe the other one was neutral. I think they were all positive. But like in, in the comments for for, for 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 all of them, there's like there's always someone or multiple people, more worryingly, saying uh saying shit like, Oh, great story. Quite a short game, but great story. I'm like, what are you talking about? Out of darkness, the outside any better? In this crowded world of solitude. All fade like mushrooms, a hint away from this insanity. Observe the direction of Stag. Oh, so it was just Stag, it wasn't THE Stag. Alright. So, I, I, I gave them more credit there than they actually deserved. But yeah, like, there's not people praising the story. Now, the first drizzle path was... Uh, it was certainly, the out of the two, it was the least offensive. And it did at least have funny things going for it, like the poor lass that couldn't speak English properly. The script was pretty dreadful, but it, it at least had that air of... Because it, it seemed to be trying to be clever, but it wasn't really hitting the mark, it was like some sort of uh, art... Um, what is it like? Uh, like, oh, I'm going to express this through the art, through the, the medium of dance. It was like a, it was like a, an interactive art experience or something. In that it was daft and it was really overwrought, but it, it was at the very least interesting, if not actually entertaining at times. Drizzlepath Genie was just incomprehensible nonsense from start to finish. I mean, it, it started off bad and then it got infinitely worse as it went on. It was just impossible to actually get any sort of meaning from. And people were like, oh yes, good story, great story, very well written. What? What are you talking about? How is it a very good story, well written? It wasn't well written at all, it didn't mean anything half of it. This, it's weird. It's weird. I, like, I feel like... Did I miss something? Or am I the only one being honest? Maybe I'm just not smart enough to understand the uh, the deeper meanings behind these games. You know, maybe... Maybe I lack the intellect required. Or, alternatively, maybe the people who liked the story and thought that the stuff was meaningful are people who equally cannot speak English along with the people who actually write the scripts for these games. That's also an option. Right, mate. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see you in a bit. Pub later? Yeah? Okay. See you later. Look at that, you definitely go 
a hell of a lot faster at an angle. Most of this is at an angle, isn't it? I've just realised I've actually been doing it and I didn't intend to. Never mind. You know what it looks like by now. It's black and white and... Uh, and as such, it looks pretty uninteresting. Right, bitch. Fucking hell. We got there at a right rate of knots, didn't we? In fact, so quick that I got confused as to where I needed to jump up. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. All right. Hey. There is bridges to splice, not though you get near the end of what maybe one last hint you need. Those are graves to the right of the path. Yeah, I seem to remember that last time the grave to the right of the path didn't actually do anything, though, did it? Was it up here somewhere? Was that it? No, it was further on, wasn't it? It's the same thing with the st with the stag and the fucking deer. Not gazelle. It's not a gazelle. I'm pretty sure. Don't gazelles live in fucking Africa or something? Where's the path gone? Oh, there it is. Don't they live in like... They are not like winter animals, are they, gazelle? Are they? I thought they were... I thought they were like... I don't know, actually. <laughs> I could be totally wrong. Whatever they are, I'm pretty fucking sure that that thing wasn't a gazelle. That's really what I'm going for here. That's what that's the point I'm trying to get across. Whatever a gazelle is, it is not what that was. That is for damn sure. Because that was a deer. I can't believe I didn't really notice before. I don't think I even. I think I think last time I I didn't twig that it said gazelle. I think I was just like, oh look at this deer. I don't think I twigged that they uh. Don't know what a gazelle is. You'd think, since he bought the asset pack, that it, it would it would be labelled deer, not gazelle. Unless it's someone else's mistake. Okay. I'll try and ignore that for the moment. Is there anything to the back of these? No. I'm just waiting for the invisible wall. Don't know. You can you can get some considerable distance away. There's no point. <sighs> right. Let's let's strafe our way back. Providing I can find my way back now. That'd be embarrassing, wouldn't it? Why don't you get lost? It's happened before. Okay. Where the f oh? There we go. <laughs> I nearly did as well. Awesome. Okay, let's have some of this speedy juice. Oh, look at the f look at the speed! Look at the speed of this. It's just unreal. It's like I'm snowboarding. <laughs> like I'm just I'm, fuck fuck walking simulator. This is a snowboarding simulator now. I'm snowboarding down. Uh, there we go. Oh yes, we can snowboard all the way to the house. Oh yeah, speed machine. There she is. Oh, hang on. She's in the house this time. Was she in the house last time? I don't think she was. Maybe she was. That's the alternative ending, is it? That's the alternative ending. That's the alternative ending to the game. It just sticks you back at the very start. Instead of having... Instead of having the table with the wine bottle on it, like it was in the in the first ending, instead it just kicks you back to the start of the fucking thing, and then just gives you the credits instead. Firstly, Brian, your one bit of bit of uh, narration does not warrant a credit. Secondly, I noticed in the list of assets used, easy save and easy load, which is interesting because there is no fucking save in this game. It clearly states at the start, this game has no save feature. So why the fuck would you list easy save and easy load as assets that you've used in this? What the fuck? Anyway, the, alter the alternative ending was every bit as garbage as I assumed it would be because it wasn't actually an ending. And uh, 
that's it for Bottle, and we will never play this again. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Toodaloo.